I'm so tired of songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs for love. Just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home. Whoa. So tired of love songs, tired of songs, tired of love songs, tired of love. Songs, tired of love. Just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home. Whoa. What's up, guys? We're looking at song by Troy Sivan and Love today. I'm so tired. Such a good song. Absolutely love it. Now I figured out a way to play this song in a cool kind of way. Uh, we're gonna have to change, we're gonna need a capo by the way, so make sure you have a capo. We're gonna have to change the E string, all right? So from the note E, this is the low string, we're gonna have to take it down to a D, so get yourself a tuner or just tune to me, and you wanna turn it towards your guitar, so it goes lower. You wanna make it a D. So the low note is now a D. Then we're gonna put the cap on fret two. All right. Now once the cap is on, it might change that note a little bit. So you can play it one more time. Make sure it's an E with the cap on. See, mine's a bit sharp with the capo. Make sure the capo is nice and tight on fret two there. So this note should be an E with the cap on. Now for the chords, we have four of them. All right. So let me show you how to play these first. I'm gonna break them down note by note because they're quite specific. All right, because I've done this whole capo and drop D thing, we have some really nice chords. A sus two, for example. Then we have E major. Okay, then we have F sharp minor 11. Which sounds really good. Uh, and then to finish this amazing, I mean, it's basically like an E major 9 chord, but we have the 6 in there as well. All right, but it's just one finger because of the way I've done this. So our first chord, A sus, let's work on this one first. Okay. So the first thing you want to realize is the thumb, very important for this chord, the thumb is resting against that top string. Okay, I'm not pushing it in, I'm just, it's just touching it because then the vibration stops. Okay, we don't want that low string ringing. Okay, especially because I've detuned it now. All right, bear that in mind. We have two fingers here, however. So we need open A, then the middle fingers on the D string, second fret from the capo, third finger underneath on the G string, open B, open E string, okay, make sure that thumb is blocking the E string, because if you do that, it means you can just strum away without having to worry about hitting that string. Okay, this is what it sounds like if you accidentally hit it. Okay, you sort of get the last chord, which will sound wrong. All right, so make sure you don't play the low E string on the first chord. Second chord, we have E major, but because we've detuned, we're gonna have to play it slightly different to how you're used to playing it, most likely. All right, we've got the E major shape here. All right, but we need to add this bass note. So middle finger is gonna be on the E string. This is second fret from the capo. Then we're gonna have third finger on the A string directly underneath, fourth finger on the D string directly underneath, all on the same fret. First finger is here on the G string, first fret from capo. Open B string, open E string. Sometimes at the end of that chord, I slide the first finger along, which is quite a squeeze. That's where it is. You can slide it along a fret. Okay, you don't have to do that. I just do it sometimes. It sounds nice, but it is a squeeze. Third chord. We have F sharp minor nine. Okay, because we have the ninth note in the scale. Now, usually we play it like this or like this. Okay, but we've detuned the string, so we need to cover the bass note here. All right. 
So the trick with this one is start with the third and fourth finger and then add the first finger after. Okay, so third finger is going to be on the sixth fret of the guitar, fourth finger underneath on the A string. Okay, then I look, my wrist has to go low for this shape. It's a little uncomfortable, okay, but it's just for one chord, so it's not too bad for you. Okay, then I'm going to pull this first finger in, okay, and I'm going to cover the D string and the G string. And if you want the B string or leave the B string open, it doesn't really matter. Open B or against the B. You could do half with it on the B string, half with it off. Okay, now what you'll realize is this first finger has to sort of flatten. Okay, just the top part of it is covering the strings. Only that top sort of segment, okay, just this bit here, the top segment of your finger. All right, that is what's covering the D and the G string primarily, and then the B string if you want to. Okay. Now the last chord is the easiest chord, even though it's probably my favorite one. If you're looking for the next big challenge, then sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to my backing tracks and all of my lessons. I teach you improvisation, soloing, advanced chords, theory, and techniques. All right, enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. The chord itself is actually D major, but can you hear how it just doesn't sound right? It sounds too happy. Alright, so if we add some sus notes in, add some major 9, and the 6th, we get a completely different vibe. So all you need to do is add your middle finger, or second finger, to the G string, 2nd fret from the capo. And try and curl that finger, okay, don't flatten it, curl it, because you want to get every other string wants to be open. Alright, the rhythm is the same for the whole song, pretty much. Okay, so let me just play quickly for you. Just take it in and then we're going to break it down, alright? And it goes round and round. All right, the whole song. All right, so let's just pretend we're playing sort of the main part here. What you need to do is not play a strum on the first beat. So one, two, three, four. You hear how I had that down, kind of a slap. I didn't actually play the chord. One, two, three, four, one. And then I come up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, now to make sure that your right hand is doing the correct thing here, don't worry about the chords for now. Okay, let's just make sure that this hand is moving in the right way. So follow me, okay, we're gonna just play down up, 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 down up. Just do this with me. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Emphasize that beat three. That needs to be going on for the whole song. Always this. It's always going to get 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 get. So important that you understand that, guys. Otherwise, it's so hard to get this rhythm correct. All right. So once again, we have one, two, three, four, one. Down up, down up, down up, up down up, down up, down up.
All right, so essentially what I'm doing is I miss out the first down, then I play up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you hear I get this on the first down. Okay, there's no chord, it's just a so just work on the first chord, okay, get your A sus ready, and just practice going. You can do it slowly if you want. Slap up, down, up, down, up, down, up, slap up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Once this starts to feel a little bit more natural, Try and just imagine the songs playing. You can even play along to the song. Okay, and try and add in the chord changes. Now let's try and add in the vocals, the lyrics, just so you really understand what's happening here. Okay. To be honest, for the first part of the chorus, I missed the first up. I like to come in on the word tired. So I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs. And then I continue on with our rhythm that I just showed you. Okay. So once again, just to clarify that, I go one, two. On the word tired, I come in. All right, you can still wiggle your hand if it helps. Two, three, four. I'm still tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of love. Okay, it also helps to think the rhythms are fitting the words. Tired of love songs, tired of love songs. Chaka chaka. You're going down, up, down, up on the tired of love. Tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, whoa, whoa. Wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home, whoa. So tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love. Just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home, whoa. Party. Do you hear that part there is the main emphasis, okay? Now all together, it's gonna to sound like this. I'm so tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of Can you hear I'm still going up down up down up down up 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 Okay. Is that still going on there? So just work on this really slowly if you need to until you get it. One thing I did at first is to really practice this, just work on the first line. So, I'm so tired of songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs. You'll notice on the word love, we have an upstroke. So, I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs. Do you see that? Love songs, love songs. I'm so tired of love songs, 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 tired of love songs. Love songs. So we're going up on love, slap, and then we start the rhythm again on the word song. Okay, so it's useful to think about these things. Where do the rhythms coincide with the lyrics? Okay, so I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs. So just have a go at that. Just have a go at playing the rhythm. I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs. I'm so tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs, tired of love songs.
happens throughout the whole chorus. Wanna go home, wanna go home. You can emphasize those up. Wanna go home, da da ba 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 da ba 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 da 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 ba da da ba da 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 da. Whenever there's that good to gang gang, you can go emphasize it, make it louder on those ones. So watch what this hand does as soon as I finish this chorus. Blocks all of the strings, right, just by resting against them. Now, you remember I said this is the only rhythm, so if you've got this, congratulations, you've learned the song. <laughs> but in the verse, it sounds really nice if we play quietly. Okay, even though technically the chorus is just as quiet as the verse in this song, I do think it sounds cooler if you're on the acoustic to play it louder. All right. So when we get to this verse part, you want to come in on the word party. So one, two, party. Which is the same as, I'm so tired. It's the same as the chorus. Okay, that's why I kind of did this, just to make it easier. What you can do though, is you can rest your palm against the string, so you get a nice soft sound. You can even add in more of an exaggerated hit there. You get that nice slap sound. So with the vocals, party, try my best to meet somebody, but everyone around me is falling in love to our song. I, 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 I. So that's basically it for this whole song, guys, honestly. If you want, you can actually play quietly for the chorus and play louder for the verses. That's it from me, guys. I really hope this lesson was helpful. Such a fun song to play along to and to sing, all right? But it does take some getting used to it. Try not to play aggressively, all right? Try and get soft and loud. Get the dynamics in your playing, all right? And then it's gonna bring out the kind of shape of the rhythm, the shape of the song. Okay, it's gonna make you sound better when you're singing or playing along to the song. Enjoy, see you in the next one.